friends welcome in the online lecture of chemistry of natural product in which we are discussing about uh, the longipolin molecule there are total nine synthesis of longipolin molecule in very first lecture we have discussed uh, the retrosynthetic uh, uh, retro analysis of longipolin retrosynthetic analysis of longipolin in which we obtain the starting material that is villain Michel ketone. So this ketone we have obtained in a retrosynthetic analysis of this is Villain Michel ketone. Villain Michel ketone we have obtained in a retrosynthetic analysis in first lecture. In second lecture we have discussed the synthesis. First synthesis of longipolin from this villain uh, ketone. Uh, that synthesis is uh, that synthesis done by E. J. Corey and co-workers. Corey and co-workers. That synthesis uh, we, uh, we have already discussed in second lecture. Workers, Corey and co-workers. And now in this lecture uh, we have to discuss the synthesis of longipolin from same. So there is no need to uh, retrosynthesis uh, see the re retrosynthetic analysis of uh, the longipolin molecule because the same starting material and same uh, same starting material is uh, there. So uh, we are directly go for synthesis here, and that synthesis is done by uh, the E. J. McMurray. So, McMurray and Eiser, these are uh, the two scientists uh, who have discovered, discovered this uh, synthesis from the land uh, for the longipolin. So, longipolin molecule, we know the structure of longipolin molecule because as we have already discussed the structure of longipolin in uh, uh, some lectures, last lectures. So, the CH2 uh, here, the CSP, CSP. CS3, CS3, and here another CS3. <coughs> and so we have discussed the numbering. Uh, how numbering? Numbering is given from this carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and here 10. 7 and 10 uh, bonding is there. 10, then this 11, this 12, 13, this carbon 14, and this is 15. So this is longipolin molecule and this is villain initial ketone. So we have to discuss the synthesis of we have to discuss the synthesis of longipolin from villain initial ketone uh, that, that has been done by McMurray and Iser. So McMurray and Iser synthesis here, we are going to discuss here and Iser, second synthesis. First synthesis already we have discussed, and that first synthesis is the EJ Korea and co-workers. So uh, this is our starting material. So let's start with the starting material, villain initial ketone. First step is very simple. In first step, villain initial ketone. The double bond reduced here. This double bond is there. That double bond is reduced. First, we have used the reagent. Uh, the reagent is diol, that is glycol. We have used glycol here, CH2, CH2, OH. What is the purpose of using this glycol? Uh, using this glycol, the purpose is that to protect this carbonyl group. First, it protects this carbonyl group, which is not conjugated. Yes, this one is conjugated, so this. Carbo carbonyl group is not protected, only the protection of the another carbonyl group. So why protection is needed? Because we want to, uh, we want a reaction only on uh, this carbons containing carbonyl group. And no need uh, to involve the carbonyl group of this, uh, carbonyl group of this into the uh, reaction. So we protect this group by using dye. When we protect uh, this compound by using diol, 
by using that way. Then uh, this protection is done and after that we use the reagent H2 in presence of palladium. So uh, the role of H2 in presence of palladium is to protect, uh, is to reduce the carbon-carbon double bond. So reduction of carbon-carbon double, double bond is done here and in third step we have used CS3MGR. What is this CS3MGR? It is a Grignard reagent. So Grignard reagent is used and the breaking of this Grignard reagent by H+. Okay, so overall reaction is what? Here the protection of this group H+, is also used for deprotection of uh, this group. And after deprotection we know that carbonyl was protected. Uh, then after that protection uh, uh, the reaction can be done. And after a reaction we need uh, that carbonyl again in the carbonyl form. So to obtain we have to deprotect it. And by uh, in presence of H+, plus, uh, this uh, group is deprotected. So resulting product is that. So resulting product is here. See this protection and again deprotected. This CS3 remains as it is. CS3 remains as it is. And after that, see here this double bond reduced. This double bond reduced. And the CS3 MGR it attacks on this carbon. So CS3 MGR attacks on this carbon. So this carbon and reaction takes place in this manner. See this double bond reduced and this is our reaction center. Where at this reaction center CS3 attack. So CS3 attack is there and O M G I. So this positive part uh, remains attached to this one. So O M G I. So this is the reaction center. And at this reaction center, after H plus, so it becomes after H plus addition. So C S D here and this O M G I becomes O H. And after that, remove of water molecule. So minus H2. So remove of water molecule then the H2 removal is there, H2 removal and here presence of double bond. So CS3 and double bond present here. So overall result is the reaction here presence of double bond and CS3. How it occurs? It occurs by considering the attack of CS3 MJ. So CS3 MJ attacks on this carbonyl group, this carbonyl group and then uh, here OMGI, here attachment of CS3 and then this OMGI converted to OH and removal of water molecule, we get this molecule. So this is the first step, we have applied these reagents. Now in second step, now in second step, the double bond is there and that double bond is epoxidized by using the poor acid. So ARCOTH, poor acid. Benzoyl peroxide, uh, uh, acid is there, aromatic poor acid is used and we know that role of poor acid is what? Role of poor acid is role of poor acid is what? Role of poor acid is to uh, form the epoxide across this double bond. So across double bond epoxide formation took place and uh, the in second one we have used base. We have used base. What is the function of this base? Is, uh, is to remove proton. In case we know that it removes proton from the active site and convert uh, there is formation of enolate ion. Okay. So enolate ion formation is there and this enolate ion formation leads to the formation of bond that is 7 10 bond formation. 7 10 bond formation uh, is there due to uh, the breaking by this one. So, this is base we have already uh, used. We know that this is thio area and base obtained from thio urea. So, what is resultant product? Resultant product is formation of 7 10 bond. 7 10 bond. So, what is that 7 10 bond? This one is 7 10 and we obtain this product how we obtain let's see here uh, here OH and CH3 this product obtained here in this case how this
this product obtained. Let's see how was the product obtained from here. Let's discuss here. So this is the I'm writing this one in this manner. So let's see how uh, we can obtain the molecule next molecule from this one. For convenience, I'm writing this molecule in this manner. This this molecule I'm writing in this manner. This C double bond O, the CH3 here, uh, then the opposite to this one. After leaving one bond, this double bond CH3 here. Okay. After application of this per acid COOH, there is epoxide formation. You know very well how epoxide form. So epoxide formation is there. How epoxide forms? So this epoxide formation across the double bond, this C S3 here, here, this C S3 double bond here. And we have used base. What is the function of this base? This base removes proton from this side, negative charge attacks here, and then uh, the phenolate ion formation. Now this enolate attacks to open the epoxide ring. So this enolate ion is there, this double bond, CS3 group here, and this CS3 here, and here there is epoxide ring. Epoxide ring. Now this enolate attacks here to open the epoxide ring. And after opening epoxide ring, we get the formation of this product. Okay, we get the formation of this product. So, in this manner, we obtain the opening of epoxide ring and 710 bond formation. Actually, here 710 bond formation occurs. And that bond formation we have written here. So, here in this case, OH, this CS3. And again, there is a formation of carbonyl group and bond between this one and this one. Okay, so seven, ten bond formation, and we have written this molecule is uh, very similar to this one. Okay, so we have written it in convenient format. So this is the step where uh, the per acid is utilized for formation of. Epoxide ring, and that epoxide ring will be opened by uh, forming uh, by the enolate ion. That enolate ion will be generated by using uh, this base. Okay, so this is the step B. Now, in the next step, in the next step towards formation of longifoli, uh, here total four carbons sh uh, showing this ring one, two, three, four in longifoli. But here only one, two, three. So there is a ring expansion needed here. Ring expansion required. And that ring expansion, see here in this case ring expansion. In order to in order to expand this ring, we have used plus H plus. H plus is what for here removal of water molecule. So that double bond formation should be there in order to form double bond. So when double bond formation is there, that double bond interact with this molecule C C H B R P C H B R P in presence of potassium tertiary butoxide in presence of potassium tertiary butoxide. So potassium tertiary butoxide is basically for it is for formation of carbene. So that carbene C H B R P as the carbene form here with this carbene form that carbene interact with double bond we get the product. See here how and what type of product for there. Now this C S3 here. C S3 here and here the epoxide like structure that is cyclopropyl ring by using CHPR3. So how it forms? First, initially when H plus interact with this, there is removal of water molecule. So see how this reaction occurs. 
So this uh, reaction occurs in this manner. See. such type of product see here after uh, breaking of this bond there is expansion of ring expansion of ring now expansion of ring the cac remains as it is the double bond formation here plus charge and here one br is there one br is there and this plus charge now this allylic position should be acquired by chromium 6 so chromium 6 utilized here for the formation of carbonyl group is there. Now carbonyl group formed and we get this product. Okay. Now in this case our motto is to remove in the next step we, we have to remove this BR. Why this BR we have to remove because we added these BRs, these two BRs of this carbon molecule for the uh, expansion of ring. So there is no need of this chromium atom. So uh, in first step we have removed this BR by adding silver AG plus in the next step we have to remove this BR so in order to remove this BR we have used sodium sodium metal in presence of methanol and ammonia as a solvent so ammonia is utilized as a solvent now in this step by using this using this we have removed BR but at the same time what happened this sodium sodium metal is a reducing one so it reduces both the carbonyl groups reduces both the carbonyl group so in order to again uh, make a carbonyl form so we have to use again